Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I pack my scuba bag. I did get this bag off of Amazon. It is a rolling duffel bag. It's supposed to be luggage, but I am using it for this purpose. Because I'm small frame, I'm able to fit all of this gear into that bag. And I'm also really short, so it also helps with it. This bag is super great, super cute, super colorful, and that's all me. Like I love everything that has color and function. So this bag has a lot of exterior pockets and interior pockets, which helps for packing all of the gear that I have. I'll go ahead and show you some of these pockets now. This is the big main cabin. Within this main cabin, there are multiple pockets. And then it did come with a strap, but I don't really use it, but I do keep it just in case I need to use it at some point. Here is a big open pocket within the main compartment. And then there are multiple little pockets on the side. In addition to these two huge, beautiful external pockets where I like to store my accessories. There's even a pocket on the front where I could store my phone, keys, wallet. So the first thing I like to put in is my regulator set because the case is so big it fits very nicely at the bottom. So I just lay that in there flat towards the bottom of the, like the wheelbase. Next thing I do is I throw my light set in its case in vertically above my regulator set. Now the space that's left right there, I do like to use for my mask case because it's the literally the perfect size that fits there. Next, I like to roll up my BC and make sure it is as small as I can get it. And I like to tuck the hose in to my BC just to make sure that it is protected against the, you know, putting it into my duffel bag because it is going into a confined space. So I make sure to tighten all of these straps to make sure I can get this really tight. And then I go ahead and put it in there, butt facing down. And then I just kind of tuck it into the bag until it's in there. Now it looks like there's not much room here, but there's actually plenty of room. The BC does still have a little bit of air in it to prevent the inner walls of the BC from sticking. So it doesn't tear my BC. And when we're talking about the BC, we're talking about this vest. I just want to make sure that's clear for those of you that might not know much about scuba diving. The last thing I like to put into the main compartment is my weight sacks. I just kind of put them where they feel like they have the most room after I put that BC in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zip it up. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and put some sunscreen and aloe vera into my front compartment along with my inflatable safety uh, tube and some twine. You never know when you're gonna need that, so you always wanna keep it on you when you're diving. Here's my backup flashlight and my spit for my mask, my underwater clipboard so I can write notes for the things I don't have signs for. Zip that up, and then in this compartment, I'm gonna put my diving shoes in there. I'm gonna get them all the way to one side as far as I can. That way there's room for my gloves. And then I always like to have two pairs of gloves on me. I always have a backup because you never know what's gonna happen to that first pair of gloves. There's always things that are sharp underwater or things that may tear or they might just wear out over time. So we're gonna get this compartment zipped up and then we're gonna go ahead and turn the bag around. So in this huge pocket over here, I actually like to store my wetsuit in there. This is a one mil wetsuit, so it's not that thick, so it does fit in there pretty well. And then also I'm able to stick my one piece rash guard in there, but it is in the washer at the moment of me filming this, so I will not be putting that in. I'm going to get it zipped up. And then the last thing I need to do is put my fins on. So I just kind of strap my fins with the handle strap and I make sure that they are snug and that they will not move so I do not drag them. And then here we are, this was my first time taking out my bag 
with all of my gear in it for the weekend and it worked great it was amazing super comfortable super easy to use i was able to put all my gear in it when it was wet and dry that's a huge deal because it's a lot easier when it's dry but i was able to do it wet and dry no problem Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content.